Good day, my name is Tinian V. Ganesh and I'm going to be talking about an art package that I developed called Cricketer. Uh, you can take a look at this uh, post which is there in my blog uh, and my blog is https gigadam.wordpress.com uh, This is an art package I wrote some time back. Actually I have been writing several posts uh, on uh, cricket and uh, some of my initial posts uh, had to do with uh, machine learning uh, then I started to write uh, using R and finally I developed this uh, package called uh, Cricketer so you can uh, take a look at I have almost uh, 11 posts on cricket uh, the first couple are based on machine learning where I use a language called Octave and then I developed this uh, package called uh, Cricketer it's an R package and I wrote about 6 uh, posts based on this uh, package so let me give you a quick uh, short uh, tutorial on this uh, package uh, uh, so I would like you to walk uh, walk you through this cricketer R markdown file uh, an R markdown file is basically a file in which you can have executable R statements and uh, you can generate a HTML out of it <coughs> and in fact this post Introducing Cricket and R package to analyze performances is the HTML cre uh, created by executing this uh, R markdown uh, file. So let me walk you through this. And so this uh, package uses the in uh, the statistics that is available in ESP and Crick Info Stats Group. Um, so you can look this up, uh, ESP and Crick Info Stats Group. I'll just go to this site. So this uh, site you can go and you can get the details for any uh, records for any player. So let us search for such in Tendulkar. Yeah, uh, various uh, records for his test matches, one day international 2020. So if I look at 20 test matches, uh, this brings up the data for uh, Tendulkar. You'll have to choose what uh, uh, options you want. Uh, a key thing to note here is this number 35320 which is uh, Tendulkar's profile number. I'll get to this a little later. So, uh, and and please be mindful of <coughs> ESPN's uh, uh, Crick Info's uh, um, uh, terms of use uh, while uh, using this uh, site for any uh, data for any of the players. So, please read this very carefully. So, let us go through how to run this package now. The first thing is you would have to uh, call the library dev tools then you install my package from github it will take some time uh, it needs to download this uh, package and the associated libraries that are part of this package uh, it will uh, take a few, uh, few moments uh, to, do, to do this So it's done now, so now I call the library cricketer. Let me set it, uh, set this uh, working directory to my source file here. So let us uh, first look at, uh, there's a function called batsman run frequency. And almost all functions <coughs> that you use in this cricketer package basically just requires the CSV file and the name of the batsman. If you look at this function get player data, it used uh, okay and I, I and okay now I need to call uh, this um, get the data for Tendulkar. So I use this uh, profile number which we saw in Stats Guru for Tendulkar, which is three five three two zero. Uh, I'll just quickly show you that. Um, if you see this, this was for Tendulkar, such in Stats Guru Tendulkar. This is profile number three five three two zero, which is what I use here to get the data. For Tendulkar, I use 35220, the directory to which I want to save it to, and I save it as uh, a CSV file. And uh, I, and uh, it also stores a data frame. You can quickly look at the size of this data frame. It has 347 rows and 12 columns. I can look at the names of the columns. And so you have these uh, column names. And I can look at the first five rows of this. The 
first five rows uh, of his initial matches. Okay, so now I call the, uh, the functions of this package. Uh, so the first uh, function is Batman run frequency. Uh, so almost all the functions just require the CSV file and the name of the player. So I call this. So here it shows that uh, you look at this. Uh, uh, what what this is saying is that approximately when uh, he he makes 50 runs, his strike rate is uh, 20, around 20, and uh, when he uh, scores about 100 runs uh, oh, so this is sorry, this is his uh, runs frequency so when uh, the the, uh, the frequency of uh, runs frequency for uh, the number of 50s is made is around 20 and the runs frequency when he made about 100 is about uh, 4 etc then we have the mean strike rate of uh, tendulkar So from this it can be seen that uh, when he scored about <coughs> he scored uh, uh, 100 runs around 100 runs uh, his mean strike rate was about <coughs> almost 52 uh, <coughs> runs. Um, so I have other other functions here. So let us look at batsman force. Uh, this will give you a, a plot of the number of fours number of fours and the run range so for 50 runs he almost hits on an average about seven fours for 100 runs uh, every time he scored a century there are almost about 13 fours you can see that's approximately here so there are other functions like the average runs in across different grounds you can look this and uh, you, you can see that uh, in Adelaide uh, he played 10 matches and uh, he scored an average of about 40 runs in Adelaide in uh, let us say in, in uh, Chennai he, he played around 16 matches and he scored an average of about uh, 60 runs in, in Chennai similarly you can look at uh, uh, the batsman runs in uh, different uh, against different opposition so you can look this up here so you can see uh, for Australia he has played almost 74 matches in Australia and an average of 50 runs uh, against uh, South Africa he's played 45 matches and scores an average of 45 whereas against Sri Lanka he has played 35 matches and has an average of almost 57 runs Then I do a lot of compa comparisons between the top four batsmen uh, according to uh, test cricket such as Tendulkar, Jack Callis, Ricky Ponting and Kumar Sagakara. I have several plots on this. You can read about this uh, in this post introducing cricketer. Um, then I also have uh, some relative plots. So let us look at some relative plots uh, of these cricketers. So. This is relative batsman strike rate. What is the relative uh, strike rate of the batsman? So here you can see that uh, 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 Ponty has the best strike rate and is followed by uh, Tendulkar and finally uh, we have uh, Sangakara. Actually you can, uh, this, this I've also, uh, you can also check this in this other uh, 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 a computation that I do uh, actually you can see that somewhere okay here um, <coughs> yeah so here I have the balls faced the minutes at crease the uh, create a new data frame then I try to predict the runs that each of these four batsmen would make and I uh, actually create a table of this and this actually is better viewed from uh, my post
you can see that uh, um, for example when uh, you have about 177 balls faced and uh, 2 cents per minute increase Tindall could have scored 102 runs but as Ponting uh, scores 110 runs so it can be seen that Ponting has the best strike rate followed by Tindall then we have Sagakara and then uh, Kalis then I look at uh, bowlers I look at the top three spin bowlers Murli Dharan, Shane Vaughan, Anil Kumble and uh, 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 Murli Dharan, Shane Vaughan and Anil Kumble so uh, let us look at um, the wickets frequency percentage. So this is a plot which gives how frequently they took uh, uh, Anil Kumble. He took two wickets almost at the 20% uh, in his career. Uh, in fact, you can search for any of these uh, functions using the help function. So you can look at batsman force, for example. This will bring the help for this. You can uh, read the help. It says the function plots the number of fours against the total run score, and uh, it'll tell you how to use this uh, particular function. You, ha you have an example, and uh, if you want to see all the functions that are available, you can look at this index, which is at the bottom of this help page. You have all the functions in this cricketer package. Okay, so now let us look at uh, certain other plots in the bowler. So this is. Uh, the average wickets in the different grounds for Murli Dharan. Uh, we can uh, see that uh, Murli Dharan uh, makes almost uh, his best performances are in uh, you could probably say in, in Colombo. He has played uh, 46 matches and he has almost taken four wickets on an average. Uh, and probably Candy. Again, he has taken about four uh, wickets uh, in, uh, in uh, on average in each match. Uh, then against different oppositions, how did uh, Muridan perform? So here again, we see that Muridan uh, performance is probably uh, is the best uh, against uh, South Africa. He has played 27 matches and he's taken fully almost four wickets. And also the West Indies, his performance has been really good. Then I have a set of relative plots. Uh, you can compare several batsmen. So this shows the relative wicket percentage for the different uh, bowlers. Uh, you can see that Mulitan highest the, has the highest uh, wicket percentage in in the four and five wicket range above uh, Shane Vaughan and uh, Kumble. So Murli has in fact he has 700 wickets uh, uh, and then I also plot um, the relative economy rate for these th four bowlers. So you can see that Murli uh, has the lowest economy rate followed by Shane Vaughan and finally we have uh, Anil Kumble. We also have the moving average uh, function for all, both batsmen and bowlers. You can see that Kumble uh, actually has the performance drop uh, in his uh, during towards the end of his career. Uh, Vaughan uh, actually, you can see Vaughan actually improves. It is said that he had to retire, and for Murli Dharan, you can see it's 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 just definitely on the way down. So I have several functions. As I said, you can always look up uh, the help for any of the uh, functions that you are interested in and uh, read about it. Uh, and uh, you can uh, always, uh, uh, if there is an example and related functions, you can look up. And uh, if you want to look at all the functions, look at the index uh, file. Um, uh, and uh, I've also created a, a small a shiny app uh, which is uh, based on my cricketer package or just you spend some time on that. Uh, the link to this is actually given in this uh, my latest post sixer art package cricketers new shiny avatar and the link to the shiny app is given here. You can play around with this. Uh, you can analyze batsmen and bowlers for all three types test one day and uh, 2020 so test you can choose any of the batsmen you want and uh, you can choose any function that you are interested in you plot that 
uh, symbol for on the international you can look at the batsman mean strike rate so for AV Devilliers you have the mean strike rate here uh, then the performance uh, box uh, 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 history chart and 2020 you can look at the bowlers the test uh, one day international and 2020 uh, uh, then you can look at relative performance of batsmen so here you, you can just choose the batsman that you're interested in let's say Brian Lara with uh, Richards, Gil Gavaskar, okay, Brian Lara, Sora Ganguly, and let's say Viv Richards. Let's see, Viv Richards has the best uh, strike rate, followed by Brian Lara and then uh, Sora Ganguly. Similarly, you can do the little performance of bowlers, and uh, so you can choose the bowlers here from, from this set for both test uh, for test ODI in 2020 and finally you know, also check the informed status of batsmen and bowlers so you can check uh, Sangakara's informed status so it says it's informed this is based on the null hypothesis and the p-value computation and finally there's a, a tab for about and all the details of all my posts and uh, the package and other uh, cricket related stuff is there in my uh, blog http gigadam uh, wordpress.com once again i would suggest that you play around with it but be mindful of espn click and post time of use uh, thanks for listening